Okay. I want to clarify more about free spe speech and free speech in the public by replying to heavy traffic ahead. And let me apologize in advance. Um, no offense, heavy traffic ahead. You are welcome to your opinion. Um, this is kind of touchy just because I've heard these arguments we all have and uh, it becomes a little bit of a pet peeve to have to read them so let's see you well not not really I, I don't know how to explain that I'm just gonna get my feedback on your comment well at the end of the day everyone here unless they have a binding contract post here at the pleasure of YT Google do you believe that YouTube has dominated the internet to the point that it should be considered part of the commons? I don't think it even comes close. Well, the internet was created as a commons by government. It already is a commons, the internet. Why, why should the private companies be able to come on to these common grounds and not follow some basic rules? It's like we have a big public square, the internet, and it's so big we say, anybody, come on, set up a tent, put up a soapbox, whatever you want, come on, everybody, you've been businesses, come on, everybody, fill it up. And then some business is going to have a big old tent and they use the fact that people want to go through that area and even when they're getting to other areas I go talk to I watch Gary I mean is YouTube protecting uh, me from Gary's videos I, I do that myself I don't watch everyone I, I protect myself from his videos and then I watch other ones so is, is that who is Google protecting when they put themselves up in a traffic spot and then they're changing how they want to uh, to interact, you know, to if they are big enough to affect the free flow of traffic, and that's why it's relativistic. You know, Great Ticks also had some comments just about how, you know, Gary censors on his channel. I'm not gonna f apologize for Gary. Gary has blocked and unblocked me. I, I don't know eight times or something uh, until he just got tired of doing it. Um, and uh, I've called that a kind of censorship, but I'm also relativist, so you know it's relatively small compared to when Google does something like this. Now, if Google wants to say that, yeah, but we set up our tent, and we get to patrol the rules of our huge giant tent. Yes, you do, but um, there should have to be some consistency. Why should there have to be consistency? Why should there be? any rules at all it's they're the kings of their it was a commons to begin with right they're subletting an area and it's like uh, just we have a standard this thing is productive because of free speech it's a free speech medium and I believe any people can plug into this medium as a less than free speech medium fine you know members only cite you may not say the word blue okay but if you were part of the public thoroughfare right up there where anybody goes you don't need to pay any money and you just there's no uh, it, it's open to robots in the world then uh, there has to be some sort of uh, rule of the shape of plug it's just like you make an electrical device it has to have a standard shape uh, plugs to get approved for use so that there's some sort of standardization you know and even when there wasn't rules about that there were still standards just so things could plug together well plugging into this is a communication medium you think we're gonna overlook that it that free speech may maybe might have to play a role oh hey free speech can't have free speech because we're using private companies to help uh, provide it oh okay no you know I didn't say that YouTube is part of the it is like nationalized into the comments. It's just that it, it's already set up in the comments, taking place in a common area. So, you know, certain kinds of communication, for example, I don't think a phone company should be able to listen to your phone calls and based on what you're saying, uh, terminate your call. 
that's just me okay because oh but it's their private 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 like not if they want to because they're a carrier we have concepts of what kind of communication service you're providing because it's like medical services otherwise people will use communication to run society and they'll use it to uh, stop somebody that has philosophical conversations but if you want to sell a magazine with it fine you know um, yeah the internet already is a commons so yeah there's got to be rules to let people take part in it um, as a as a carrier <laughs>